What's up guys, thanks for joining us over here at shrubgator.com. Today, we're gonna to be fixing this broken lateral line. Looks like it was attacked by some roots. First things first, I started to dig this thing up and found a couple lateral lines intersecting at this T. Upon closer inspection, it's clear to me that this T is what's causing our flood. It's completely snapped off from one end. This root is just in my way, so I'm going to cut it out using my saw. This string saw makes cutting in tight spaces way easier. I'm going to prepare my replacement tee by adding primer to all the places I intend to glue. This will ensure a strong bond between our PVC pipe and fittings. The lateral line going towards the wall is actually a one inch and it divides into two three quarter inch lines. I didn't have any reducer bushings with me, but here's a little trick. The three quarter inch coupler actually fits snugly into a one inch coupler, allowing me to use it as both a coupler and a reducer bushing. So that's how I'm doing it here. You see how easy that broke right there? That's why you don't use Schedule 20 PVC. Look at the difference, Schedule 20 between Schedule 40, okay? This is Schedule 20. I'm trying to cut it with the cutters that were made for the cutting pipe and it snapped it like this. And now it's cracked under, so my measurements don't even count anymore. Using the cutters that are made for cutting pipe. But because it's Schedule 20, this cheap bullshit, it just cracked the whole thing. I'm gonna show you right now. Look it. This pipe is schedule 40. This is schedule 20. You see the difference in the thin one and the thick one? Schedule 20, schedule 40. This breaks constantly. This always breaks over the stupidest shit, like using cutters that were made to cut pipe it'll snap this because this is schedule 20. Schedule 40, this would not happen. That would not happen. That would cut this like butter. And it wouldn't even break like that. But anytime there's a break, sometimes tree roots, maybe if I'm trying to do a repair, when you squeeze that pipe, the schedule 20, it's so, look at how, how cheap and flexible that is. With with two hands, I can, I can squeeze it. You know, you see how flexible that is? You can't do that with this pipe. As hard as I can, with both hands, it won't flex at all. You know, this is cheap schedule 20, this is schedule 40. Use schedule 40 in your installations, especially in commercial properties. A commercial planner like this, schedule 40, not schedule 20. Don't cheap out, I know you think you're saving money, but you're not. You're not saving money when everything breaks and then you gotta pay me to come out here and fix it. I'm switching over to my cutoff wheel to avoid breaking unnecessary pipe. This cutoff wheel is really good for making nice and clean cuts. It cuts schedule 20 like a lightsaber.
Installing this slit fix is going to give us a lot of flexibility to put this lateral line back together. And we're almost done, now it's time to make our final connection. Thanks to our slip fix, it's as easy as sliding the tee back, then right in place. Last but not least, let's take a picture for our Instagram. If you're not already following us, there will be a link in the description below. We consistently post high quality in the field irrigation photos. You don't want to miss it.